put more manpower on the streets um, as we go forward. That response today, one day after a man was gunned down outside the courthouse on the first day of an attempted homicide trial. The murder plot, the arrests in the case, and the gunman still on the run in a live report. Lots to get to tonight. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nick Toma. And I'm Mark Hiller in for Candace. Police say a dangerous suspect is on the loose tonight, one day after a deadly shooting. It happened near the Northumberland County Courthouse. 2822's Amelia Zack covered a news conference today about the deadly crime. She's live now in the control center. Good evening, Amelia. Mark, good evening. We now know from police that the fatal shooting is related to the attempted homicide trial that was taking place yesterday at the Northumberland County Courthouse. We also know that the shooter is on the loose and is considered to be armed and dangerous. Yesterday was the trials of Anthony Moultrie and Frankie Ritchie. Um, that was declared a mistrial due to the homicide occurring outside of the courthouse. A shooting during the lunch break of an attempted homicide trial leaves one man dead, two behind bars, and a shooter on the loose. The homicide in yesterday's alleged homicide trial have been a continuation of violence that has plagued our county for the last few years. 26-year-old Denari Springs of Northumberland is being accused of shooting the victim, Davion Creel of Sunbury, in the chest and killing him. Why'd you shoot him? 24-year-old Nizier Robinson of Sunbury and 21-year-old Carnell Shelbourne Jr. of Nescopec are being charged as accomplices. The three men fled the scene after shots were fired. The suspects and the victim were in the courtroom Thursday morning for the attempted homicide trial of Richie and Moultrie. As police continue to search for Springs, they say safety is top of mind. We are beefing up patrols. Uh, especially after with this incident, uh, we'll continue to uh, put more manpower on the streets um, as we go forward. Now, police say the whereabouts of Springs are still unknown. He was last seen wearing a blue sweatsuit. Anyone with information should contact the Northumberland County District Attorney's Office or the Sunbury Police Department. Reporting in the Control Center, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. Mark. A crime that has shocked Sunbury. Amelia, thank you. From your